name is Karis Ketridge if we haven't met before. Now, have you ever wondered why gemstones get their colours? How does that happen? So there's two different ways this can happen. Um, in uh, a small minority of gemstones, they're idiochromatic gemstones, um, and they're ones where the colour is part of the chemical composition. So I'm thinking peridot and malachite, but there's very few of those. But the vast majority are allochromatic gemstones, and they're ones that get their colours from impurities within the gem. So that's any gemstones that come in more than one colour, diamonds, zircons, all of those. Now, one of the most interesting of those impurities that causes colour is chromium. Um, it's 24 on the periodic table. You've probably heard of it actually from um, chrome plating. It's that really shiny one. Um, and one of the coolest things that happens with chromium is it can cause lots and lots of different colours. In fact, chromium, the word itself, um, comes from chroma, which means colour. Um, so it causes rubies to be red, uh, and this happens because uh, it replaces some of the aluminium atoms within the gemstone structure. And because it's got an empty uh, or emptier shell on the outside, it means that it's more reactive. So it actually absorbs violet light and transmits red light. But at the same time, it also causes a, a very short fluorescence. So it's actually fluorescing red at the same time as transmitting red, which means it very vibrant. Um, it also causes lots and lots of gemstones to become green, so um, green tourmaline, all of those uh, emeralds, all of those that can cause blue in other ones, um, just because it forms in a slightly different way and so it causes different wavelengths to be absorbed. Now the coolest, coolest thing that it does is it causes colour change in almost every colour change gemstone. Only colour change fluorite is caused in a different way. So in chromium with colour change um, it actually makes it sort of a balance between different colours being transmitted. So essentially you're transmitting um, your blues on the one hand and your reds on the other. Um, and what happens essentially, it doesn't actually change colour, your perception of it changes depending on what uh, light is actually entering the gem. So daylight actually has lots and lots of blue in there and so more blue is transmitted back to the eye, so we see it as blue. Uh, whereas under, um, under candlelight, you're getting much more red in there, so red is coming back to the eye. So that's how chromium is fantastic and causes all those different colours. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.